Crash Course Instrumentation Diagnostics, Episode 4 When it's not just one thing, diagnosing combined faults. Welcome back to Crash Course Diagnostics. We've covered opens, shorts, logical testing, and divide and conquer strategies. But what happens when there's more than one thing wrong? Today, we tackle a challenge that throws off even experienced techs. Multiple faults at once. This episode is all about how to stay clear-headed, ask the right questions, and adapt when things get weird. Why multiple faults are so tricky. Most systems fail for one reason at a time, so we're trained to look for a single root cause. But real-world systems, sometimes they surprise you. You fix one thing, and it still doesn't work. Or worse, you misdiagnose the second problem because you're sure you already solved it. Multiple simultaneous faults lead to inconsistent symptoms, red herrings, and a lot of wasted time if you're not thinking clearly. Back to first principles. In confusing situations, fall back on what you know for sure. Yong is their power to the system. Yish, are all connections intact? Is your test giving a conclusive result? Don't trust your assumptions. Trust your evidence. Use first principles to rebuild your mental model from the ground up. Start with what must be true for the system to work. Then verify step by step, prepping for complex diagnostics before diving in. 1. Create a checklist, mental or physical. List what components should be energized, active, or connected. 2. Review the manuals or schematics. Prior system documentation often holds clues. 3. Talk to senior techs. So, someone might have seen this before. 4. Check service logs or CMMS entries for recurring issues. 5. Remind yourself, this system worked at some point. That means it can work again. It's not magic, it's logic. These steps prime your brain to see clearly and troubleshoot with confidence. Real-world example, the mystery panel. A maintenance tech is called to troubleshoot a pump panel. The motor won't start. First thing they do, check the voltage at the motor contactor coil. Nothing. Hmm. Could be the relay. Could be a fuse. Could be the control logic. They replace the relay. Still nothing. Now it gets frustrating. That's when they step back and ask, what else could prevent this motor from running? They trace the control circuit again and find an overlooked safety interlock, a panel door switch that was jammed just enough to fail continuity, but not enough to look obviously broken. Two separate issues. A relay that had stuck intermittently then failed open. A mechanical safety switch wired into the logic loop. Only both faults together explained the symptoms. Fix one, still dead. Fix both. The system springs back to life. This is why seasoned techs always retest the system after a fix and why they keep notes on everything they've tested. This story isn't unusual. It's just underreported. Multiple faults happen. Be ready. Strategy. Think in layers when you suspect multiple faults. 1. Fix what you know is wrong. Don't guess. 2. Retest the system as a whole. Three. Ask, has anything changed? Four, keep a fault log to track what you've tried. Five, if needed, build a fresh fault tree based on new symptoms. Layered thinking helps you handle complexity without panic. Just because something now works doesn't mean you've solved the whole problem. The power of elimination. Use diagnostic elimination like a checklist. This is working. That's not. This part is confirmed good. That test was inconclusive. Elimination keeps your focus on facts and prevents emotional decision-making. It also helps if you hand off the job or retrace your own steps. Historical Spotlight Apollo 14 In 1971, NASA's Apollo 14 mission nearly failed because of a faulty switch and a software override that didn't play well together. Two unrelated issues triggered a launch abort sequence. Engineers back on Earth had to diagnose and fix both under pressure in real time. 
or risk losing the mission. They didn't assume it was just one thing. They treated each symptom on its own. That mindset saved the mission. Like, share, and subscribe for more episodes from Crash Course Diagnostics. Special thanks to Tony Kupalt and the Open Source Model Project. Next episode, how to create test points and design systems for easier troubleshooting. See you Sunday.